Hello, welcome, welcome gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara coming to you with day 13 of our 28 days to absolute love. We're nearly halfway there. Taking in a big breath in, big belly breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And letting go of everything that's outside this moment. Let's call back all of yourselves clean and clear and fully aligned with God's source. Keep breathing in through the nose, big belly breath up. Filling yourself up with the air all the way from your base chakra up to your crown chakra and then letting it out with a sigh or an ah as this lets go of everything that's outside this moment for you. Today we're going to place your awareness on your quantum heart. This is just a quickie quantum heart activation because, because it may help some of you get to your, your absolute love even faster. We will cover the quantum heart in a whole, it's a whole lesson, a whole week on connecting to the quantum heart. That's how important it is. She says, as all the chimes go off, um, for validation. Because scientists have actually proven that you have, I think it's 40 million cells in the top of your heart that act like a super conscious heart or super, like the super conscious mind that we have. Um, and it sounds like a lot, but we have 100 trillion cells, so 40 million is not that many at all. But just that little bunch of cells connecting in through that helps you to connect into your superconscious mind and to the God within you and to absolute love. So just if you want to know all about it, come to our 12-week training program. Amazing things happen when you connect to your quantum heart. But just for today, I want you to place your right hand over your heart. You can place your left hand on top of it or just leave your left hand with your palm up. And then just imagine that you're breathing up from earth through your chakras and then in through this quantum heart and then just breathe out and let the quantum heart begin to wake up in your being. We'll just do this several times. Up from earth through your chakras, up through your physical heart, up through and through the back, up at the top and the back of it. Go in through the quantum heart. It's also how we actually get to the higher heart in the fifth dimension, so it's a really important part. And interesting, Spirit taught me about that, those 40 trillion cells, or they didn't even call it that, they just told me to come in through the physical heart and up through the back of it and breathe out into the higher heart. That's one of the steps of going through to connect to the fifth dimension. And they taught me that in 1997 before there was people like Greg Braden and Bruce Lipton who could prove that this quantum heart existed. So, um, or prove that this, you know, higher heart, they used to call it, so it's really interesting, isn't it? You know, that all of the stuff that they taught me back in 1997 to connect to the fifth dimension is now actually being proved by scientists who have turned spiritualists. So just breathe for me. Up through the back of the heart, into the quantum heart, which is different to the higher heart. But just after we take it, there's too much to explain in an 11 minute activation what to do, but your soul knows what to do. So just breathe up from earth through your chakras, up through the back of your physical heart and ask again, wherever you take your attention, make your intention to take your attention to the quantum heart and breathe out into the quantum heart. 
where your attention goes, your energy flows. And that's why it's so important. Most of us, if we're struggling with money or struggling with our health, 99% of our energy is focused on that. And we leave like this teeny weeny bit to focus on the brilliant part of you or the, the well part of you or the multi-million dollar part of you where your attention goes, energy flows. And it's the same with that's why if you make it your intention to go to the quantum heart, you'll go there, breathe in, into the quantum heart, breathe out. And now we're just going to take that a step further. Breathe in, up from earth, through the body, through the, the heart, up, right up. And make it your intention to go to absolute love. And then just breathe out the part of you that has always existed. It's actually existing right now, but it's just easier for people to get that concept, especially if you've had a tough life, or especially if you're still having a tough life right now. So just breathe in, up from earth, through the heart into the quantum part, and keep going all the way back into absolute love. Breathe out. Let that absolute love fill every one of your 100 trillion cells and your 100 trillion telling me it's actually that feels easier. Some of you might get there a bit easier today. You certainly won't get there if you quit. <laughs> Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. I'm breathing out, oh, excuse me, sorry. Had a cup of my very lovely, very berry green tea. Before I started this. Breathing up through your heart into the quantum part and keep on going all the way through to absolute love. Let that wake up and breathe, focus on the absolute love and the quantum heart awakening in the cells of your being now, increasing your vibration higher and higher, going beyond love on David Hawkins' scale of human consciousness into enlightenment. We have love, joy, bliss, a whole pile of other things there. You can just look it up. His, his information is everywhere now. A lot of people have stolen it, but it was originally his. He wrote it in a book in the 1990s. Long, slow, deep breath in. And letting go of everything that's outside of that quantum heart and the absolute love at the core of your being. As it floods back in, you may find your eyes watering, yawning, burping, sneezing, farting. They're all signs that energy is shifting. And if it's not happening, just keep doing it because I've had heaps of people go, oh, nothing happens, nothing happens. And all of a sudden they go, oh, my God, I yawned so hard. I thought my mouth was going to crack open. That's when you've hit, you know, the jackpot, so to speak. That's when the love is actually coming up and moving the crap out of your body. And it's just, if it's not there yet, it's just that your energy is too dense and you've just got to keep doing this more and more. If it's like that, I would recommend you put this on a loop put this on a loop and just listen to it over and over and over until you start to shift your energy field. Breathe.
more and more love. The more you focus on your quantum heart and the absolute love, the more bliss and joy you'll feel and peace. And it'll be reflected back to you from your loved ones and from the people around you. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Focus on raising your frequency higher and higher. Because that's how we'll heal our world, not by fighting with all the crap that's going on, but by raising our frequency to a point where it flips. And you want to be on the right side of the fifth dimension when the earth flips into fifth and lets go of the third. Otherwise, you'll be stuck there for another thousand years. Alrighty. Love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. And bye for now.